Good day guys and welcome back to Ozstar Studio. In today's video we're going to do a quick review on Stand on the Telstra TV. So let's jump into it and see what content we can start watching. So Stand and Netflix is a, is a big competitor and it's really hard to find out which one has more content. But Stand does have a lot of content and it does have a lot of stars content as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go down to the trending area. So this is as you see a lot of them do say exclusive and some of them do say original. So if we scroll through some of these right here, and this is what's trending on um, stand right now. Okay, so that's there. Then you can go to television drama. So as you see, there's a lot of BBC content right on here. Um, so that's one great thing. I am a fan of the BBC. So they do have a lot of BBC content that isn't even on Foxtel, which is quite amazing. Now when you do click on a TV show, so when you click on it, you can start watching the episode there, or you can actually click on all episodes. Okay? And then you can scroll through all the seasons just like that. And it tells you what resolution it is in. But because I'm actually on the standard pack, we're not going to get the best resolution right there. Also, you've got other things you may like that you can scroll through down in this menu right here. And you can easily start streaming that. So what we're going to do is hit back and have a look at some other options more down and then we'll have a look at TV, movies, kids, my list and history. Okay, so as you see, they don't use TV, they call it television comedies, so these are all your comedies right here. Not really a fan of the comedies they do have here, they have some good ones, but again they could do a better job. I'm going to scroll through all those, or you can hit more and start scrolling through all the comedies right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to so hit, hit on, uh, click on, so hot right now. So as you see, you've got Misfits, uh, Mean Girls, um, so much more down here that you can easily scroll through. So again, a lot of this content isn't on Foxtel or uh, Netflix, so Stan actually does do a good job right there with that sort of content, because, uh, yeah, they don't have it, so it's great, you can easily watch it on Stan. Then you've got new episodes this week, so this is um, the new episodes. Then you've got previews, exclusives, and we will go down. This is your kids area as well, but we'll show you the dedicated kids area as well. Then you've got sci-fi, so they actually have a large collection of sci-fi. Also they've got the Sharknados, which are pretty good over here too. So the, yeah, so they've got a lot of sci-fis that you can easily start watching. Then you've got drama films. You can start watching. Now, I hope this is giving you a good idea of what's on. That's why I'm scrolling through a few of them, just to give you a general idea what you're expected to see. Now you've got Showtime, which is actually an American um, company that has a lot of exclusive great dramas. And you normally can't get those in Australia. And Stand is the only place you can actually get it in Australia. So you can't even get, most of these showtimes aren't on Foxtel, actually none of them are on Foxtel. They're only, and that's why they say exclusive by the way, they're exclusive to stand because nowhere else you can access them unless you're in America. Then you've got down the bottom, funny films. And one great thing that I do like that they have done, if you're a James Bond fan, they have all of the James Bonds. Now I'm pretty sure all of them are here. Um, so you can start binge watching all your James Bonds. Now you're going to be here a while, but yes, every single one of them is here and back from, all the way from the beginning, they've got those here as well. So it's amazing how many James Bonds there really is on stand. And we can click on more and have a look, look at even more James Bonds. And as you see, it just keeps on going, going. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, so it's a loop. Okay, so let's go down one more. Now we're going to go to Australian television. So let's have a look what they've got in Australian television. So you've got um, Dr. Doctor. Uh, you've got a lot of ABC content too, and I'm going to show you there's an actual area to click on for your ABC. Uh, also, there's an area to click on for your Nickelodeon. They did have a Disney Channel area, but that has now been removed because of Disney Plus, obviously, so that will be removed. That has been removed. You can still watch Disney content. There's just no Disney Channel area to click on. Okay, then you've got Best of the British. Then you've got Australia. 
then you've got uh, classics that you can look at and so much more and this list goes on and on and on like uh, there's a lot of content to watch you got your stand originals right here also you got your um, world movies and that's basically the bottom and just click on the arrow over there and that will take you back to the same to the top of the page now let's click on TV okay so in TV you got the trending same as what we're looking at before you got your drama, you got your comedies, your uh, British dramas right here, Australian television, um, sci-fi, so these are your TV shows, so you got The Flash and so on on here. Now as I said, they do have exclusive access to stars. If you guys don't know, they're an American uh, TV channel and they have great movies. Now we don't get this access to star movies, but we do get to access the star original series. So you can have a look at all those down here. Okay. Again, you've got exclusive to start, uh, exclusive to uh, stand exclusive, and that is basically your showtime. So you've got your friends over here as well. And there's a lot of content to start watching. Right here. So you get the gist of the idea. So now let's head over to the movies area. So movies, they do have quite a good amount of movies. Now again, when it comes to movies, um, Netflix and yeah, Netflix um, and Foxtel do have the similar amount of movies. But there are some movies that are just on stand that you can't get anywhere else. So let's go through the trending list. So this is the trending, and there's actually the Transformer movies are actually trending at the, at this moment. And you've got your Tomb Raiders that are trending, and basically all that. Then you got your funny movies, so you got in betweeners and so on down here. The Pink Panther, Kung Fu Panda, and much more. Now you got adventure, so if you want to watch an adventure movie, you've got an area dedicated just to finding adventure movies. And you got drama on film right here. And then you got um, Will Ferrell collection. Now I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name right. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it there. So you can have a look at that. Again, we've got the Bond collection. So if you want to have a look at that, you can scroll through that. Uh, you got your world movies. And so much more. Now, we're about to head over, head over to kids. There's one thing I just will quickly do before we get to the, the last option. And that is when you add something to your list. So to add something to your list, just click on that right there and add that to your list. So if we go back, that should be there when we go to that setting. Okay, so. Yep, so that's basically everything down here. Now, when you do get down to the bottom option, now you have this option on TV shows as well. It's up to you if you want to go through it. Now, if you are just on here just to look for comedies, that's okay, because you can actually do that. You can just click on comedies and basically what that's going to do, that's going to show you all the comedy movies on stand that you can scroll through. Right here. Okay, let's head over to kids and we'll click on that arrow. It's way easier to get back to the top of the menu. Okay, so under kids, you've got um, trending. So this is everything trending in the kids area right here. Now, a lot of stuff you're going to see that pops up is from Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon, not so much Disney, even though the Disney content still is on here, it just doesn't really pop up. So, as you see, we'll go to Cartoon Network first. So, this is everything on the Cartoon Network that you can start watching. Again, if you click on something, we'll add that to the list as well, just to show you it does pop up. Then you've got DreamWorks right here, you've got kids' movies, and so on down here. You've got The Zone. And so much more content that you can just start exploring. Now, I'm not sure what just happened then. Okay, yeah, I think it's all good. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything right there. We'll just head down to the bottom. And again, you do have a few different options. As I was saying before, um, you can click on Nickelodeon, Kid, ABC Kids, uh, Cartoon Network. But as you notice, uh, there is no Disney area. But there is Disney content on here. 
So what we'll do, we'll just scroll, I should have hit that arrow. Okay, now we'll go to my list. And as you see, under my list, we've got those two movies that you can easily start watching. And you can just hit them play down there, or you can remove it from the list right there. And for history, there's really not much you can really look at down there. When you click on history, because I haven't watched anything on stand at this present point, uh, nothing will pop up. But if I do, for example, watch something, I'm not sure how long I have to watch it for. Let's go take a look. And as you see, that's there. Now, another thing you will notice, which I'm actually surprised Stan was allowed to get away with, when you play an on demand, well, a TV show or a movie or so on, it has like a little thing at the top and it will say it's in PG or so on. Now, Netflix does the exact same thing. The only difference is with Netflix, Netflix is red, Stan's is blue, which I'm so surprised they were allowed to get away with that. And then you've got your profile at the top here and you can basically change the settings uh, and so on. But yeah, that's basically everything. I just wanted to do a quick little uh, quick guide on how um, Stan works and gives you an idea if you've got enough, if there's a, enough content on there for you. Again, if you want us to do a full review on it, let us know down below. Thanks again for watching All Star Studios. Thank you for watching All Star. To maintain our high standards, feel free to let us know if the audio was too quiet or if the picture were significantly hard to see. We always appreciate your feedback. Alternatively, you can contact our main office at support at gbtnetgo.com. We're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sydney Standard Time. You can always contact us if something in the video was significantly incorrect. Thanks again for watching All Star. Bye for now and have a great evening.